All right, so let's make some sourdough. What do you need to make sourdough? You need a mixer, a spatula, a scale, some bread flour, some specialty flours. You're gonna need some salt. You're gonna need some water and your sourdough starter. There's our starter all ready to go. Okay, so first get your scale and push the tear button. You're gonna zero out the weight and set it to grams. Then you're gonna add 350 grams of filtered water. So stir the starter, add 200 grams of the leaven mix to the water and it should float. Just do it a little at a time. Make sure you get a good measurement. Then you start adding 500 grams of bread flour. You can always zero out the scale between each one to help you with the calculations. After you do 500 grams of bread flour, you're going to add 100 grams of specialty flour. I'm using 40 grams of our whole wheat sprouted flour, 40 grams of rye flour, and 20 grams of rye chops. Use a spoon for the smaller ones. It helps you get a good measurement. So put the bowl on the mixer stand with the dough hook and set on the first speed and set a timer for two minutes. So now you're gonna to wanna to measure your salt. Zero out your scale and measure 50 grams of water and add 18 grams of salt. Then stir it and set it aside, wait for your dough to rest. After the two minutes, you're going to let the dough rest for 30 minutes before adding the salt mix. So put the clean dough hook back on the mixer, add the salt water blend, and turn the mixer on the second speed for about two minutes. The dough should be wet and sticky. You're gonna want to clean your tabletop or your countertop, then sprinkle a fair amount of all-purpose flour. Scrape the dough out of the bowl, trying not to tear it. You're gonna sprinkle some more flour. You can see it's really sticky, so you're going to need to stretch and fold the dough multiple times to build strength. Stretch, fold, and turn the dough in quarter turns until it becomes firm and shapeable. When it's the right consistency, you'll start to feel it. It'll, you'll be able to make a ball out of the dough and you just push your hands underneath the edge in a circle motion, make it into a ball, put it into a clean bowl, cover it with plastic, and you're going to store it in the fridge overnight. There you go. First, you start at zero with your scale and your bowl. You add your starter and you measure it. Then you add an equal amount of filtered water to the starter and you add the same equal amount of flour. I like to use unbleached organic all-purpose flour with about a teaspoon of rye flour. So if you have 100 grams of starter, you add 100 grams of water and 100 grams of flour. Then if you have a dough hook, use that. 
or a bowl scraper or a spatula and blend the starter well. Try not to get it all over your countertop. Once it's blended, it'll be ready to go in eight to 12 hours if you leave it at room temperature. Visit us at commonskitchen.weebly.com.